you better watch out. You better not cry. Well, the Basement Theatre's eighth annual Christmas show, the opening night before Christmas, is a hilarious take on small town New Zealand. Now, we have a co writer and star of the show, Thomas, oh, Thomas Sainsbury, along with celebrity <laughs> guest actor. That's when we're trying to treat him nicely. Amanda <laughs> Bing here to tell us all about it. Oh. Good morning to you both guys. Hi. Good morning. Let's start with you, Tom. Yes. Um, Thomas. Mm -hmm. Sounds so official. Isn't it, Tom? It's my official name. So you, yeah, it's yeah. stage name. It's stage name. So you co wrote it That's and you right. starred in it as well. Mm -hmm. Eight years running now. So tell me what it's yeah. about. So this one's about the Levin Community Players, which is an amateur dramatic society that are putting on their usual Christmas show. But the um, director, Coda Forrester, is playing it and she wants to kind of liven it up. So she's invited Auckland celebrities to come down and be part of it this oh, year. Oh, wow. Because we had Coda on the show recently. Yeah. So obviously every year it's slightly different. That's right. This year, um, so the last two years, the guest actors that come on don't know anything that they're doing, so they just kind of walk on stage and yeah. they go for it. It's kind of terrifying but and amazing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but before that, they would be given a script, so we're just making it harder and harder every year for them. And one of those guest actors is Amanda, but before we chat to you, Amanda, let's have a look at what we can expect in the show. So this year, we are out with the old and in with the new. So what I've decided is that we are going to have a special celebrity guest all the way from Auckland. No way. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they live in Auckland. Oh, right. oh, right. That's right. It's going to knock the socks off Levin, really shake things up. It's going to be fantastic. Oh, it is going to be fantastic. <laughs> and she is all the way from Auckland. She's our yeah. special guest too. Amanda, yeah. I'm good to have you back on the cafe. How are you? Oh, I'm good and I love being here, so hi. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, and this show, it looks incredible. Is it quite daunting not knowing what you're going to do or is yes. it fun? Uh, I, oh, it's both. Last year when we did um, the show, we, um, we knew that we were playing Jesus and we had to prepare a lip sync, a miracle and be prepared to have our costume taken off taken off at some point so Ooh. we had to be wearing something underneath okay. anyway. <laughs> okay. um, active wear completely covered um this year i think we have to do a, a song a rap a rap oh but i only found that out last night um, oh yeah plenty of time when does it open next week <laughs> uh, you're good yeah but i'm on the 17th the 17th the 17th yeah, <laughs> 17th at 9 30 p.m because that's the thing, there's different celebrities all the time. I yeah. think we should talk more about this. I want to talk more about your character of Glenn in this, but maybe mm -hmm. we should say that. Oh, yes, it's hilarious. And I wanted to know as well um, uh, how Levin will react to this. Why have you picked on Levin and how are they reacting to it? <laughs> well, we love Levin. Let's just say that first and foremost. But we liked Levin because because um, it's an amateur dramatic society. We thought we'd have a lot of puns that played on Levin. So their previous shows were like Levin on a Prayer <laughs> or Night of the Living Dead. Oh, oh, yeah, that is pretty good. <laughs> I like that. Uh, and you play Glenn Innes, who is the stage manager who takes his job very seriously. Very, very seriously. Uh, actually, we should take a look at this clip, actually. Take a look at this. It's you who is absolutely useless. Hi, I'm Glenn Innes. I am the um, stage manager slash costume designer slash costume maker slash shoulder to cry on for both the actors and for the director. I'm the rock, really. The plug won't reach all the way is the line. Oh, sorry, was that? A lot of people don't realise this, but a theatre is actually a death trap. There are hazards around every corner just waiting to kill someone. You've got your cables to trip over. You've got lights just ready to fall on someone and kill them. My most important job as stage manager is to neutralise those hazards. <laughs> oh my goodness, this just looks fantastic. It just looks absolutely great. Now, Amanda, I must ask you, when you get asked to do something like this, it, do you have to think about it at all, or, or is it an no. instant yes? It's, no, 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 it's just a yes. I've done the Christmas show a few times now. And um, in the past, we've been given scripts, and that's really fun, because there's still an element of, you know, what's going to happen. Yeah. But, because um, when the show first started out, I think it was a series of monologues, mm. and it's morphed over time, and, and its current incarnation is this slightly improvised... Um, scripted things. So there's a show that's prepared that, that there are actors in who, and they do it every single night mm. but then they get the joy I guess and the surprise yeah, of, of having us come on and treat it a slightly different way every mm. night as well. And so it, you can, it's the kind of show I think that you can go to see more than once because then you get to see <laughs> what different people. actors yeah. will do with the same scenario. So you, Robbie Magasiva, mm -hmm. Kim, Crossman, Kim Crossman, who else we got? Um, Jackie Brown, Morgana O'Reilly from Neighbours will be yep. doing it. Yes. Yeah, Claire Chisholm. Yeah. 
And I know well, it's a comedy and you're having a laugh, but mm. is it actually like that the night before opening night? Is this oh, a sort of real know, life interpretation? <laughs> oh, I think, I think the theatre world, whether you're professional or amateur, is its own particular kind of bubble and there are... I mean, one of the gags about amateur theatrical societies, whether they're like this or not, is that people take themselves very seriously and it's all about the drama and it matters yes. so much. And I think that, that applies whether you're getting paid or whether you're doing it for the love. Mm. And everybody will recognise... You know, I recognise Kura's character from my own <laughs> life, but you recognise her just as a person. You don't need to be involved in amateur dramatics mm. to know someone who's really intense. Oh, oh no, yeah, it looks really brilliant. brilliant. Oh, I it's love it. Just yeah. loves it so much, and it's just her whole life. It looks fantastic. I cannot wait to see it. Yeah. Oh, I love that name, Glenn Innes, too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> love that is brilliant. Five. Now, the yeah. opening night before Christmas promises to be hilarious, and it runs from next Tuesday until the 22nd of December at Auckland's Basement Theatre. The show is a sellout every year. Get in quick so you don't miss out. Tickets are available from iTickets.